I haven't found a simple explanation for rate of rise online, so I decided to make this video with my own. In a nutshell, coffee roasting is about exposing green coffee beans to an increase in temperature for a specific amount of time. The graphical representation of the bean temperature at any given time during the roast is what we call a roasting profile. Most roasting profiles look very similar, sometimes even identical, and this is a consequence of how green coffee beans behave during the roast. As soon as we drop green coffee beans inside of our roaster's drum, set to a preset temperature, our recorded temperature will drop drastically. During this period, the beans will absorb heat, so closing the airflow and increasing the gas often upset the declining temperature. Immediately after, the beans will start reaching an equilibrium represented by a steadily growing temperature. During this period, we usually lower the gas and allow airflow. After the first crack, the beans will start radiating their own heat, so the airflow should be maxed out and the gas set to a minimum. This is normal behavior, and there is little we could do to change it. The only thing we can control is the profile slope. The slope represents the roast speed and is expressed in degrees per minute, and is widely known as the rate of rise. A steep slope, consequence of a high rate of rise, is known to grant bright acidity to the beans. Medium slope triggers sweetness, aroma, and fragrance, and a low slope is characterized by chocolate and nutty flavor notes. Sometimes the slope differences on a roasting profile are so small they are hard to see or overlap with each other. For this reason, there is a specific curve for the rate of rise. It is represented by right axis and expressed in degrees per minute. During the beginning of the roast, the line usually disappears, indicating the values are negative or the temperature is lowering instead of rising. After the turning point, the rate of rise becomes positive and visible in the chart. The normal tendency of the rate of rise is to be high at the beginning of the roast and get lower as the roast progresses. As a rule of thumb, a rate of rise lower than 10 is slow, between 10 and 15 medium, and above 15 is a high rate of rise. Keeping a close eye on the rate of rise is important because it doesn't only measure the quality of the roast. It also measures your consistency and dexterity as a roast and even a smooth descending line indicates an uneventful roast and a skillful roast. And a choppy line indicates a dirty or defective temperature sensor, heat leakage, or an insecure operator. Sudden changes in rate of rise going upwards are called flicks, and going downwards, crash. Flicks may result in burn rubbery and toast taste notes, while crashes may cause baked notes and be detrimental or a diminishing factor to the overall coffee flavor. 